I'm a passport girl, and I'm going to use mine, believe that. Guys, yesterday I had my first date with an American woman. <laughs> and it was a disaster. It was an absolute disaster. An absolute disaster. I arrived at the restaurant. First of all, her name is Kimberly. Oh la la, Kimberly. It's not my favorite name, but it's fine, it's fine, you know, she's pretty, you know, so we sit down, we, we take the menu, and, uh, and she looks me in the eyes and she tells me she doesn't eat gluten. You don't eat gluten? But how can you not eat gluten? Gluten is my life. Kimberly, gluten is, is croissant. Gluten is, is, is baguette. How can you not eat gluten? So I'm, I'm, I'm starting to be confused. I'm not going to lie. Oh, I look left, I look right, I'm a bit confused in this restaurant. And then I'm like, okay, I'm gonna have some glass of wine, you know, like chill a little bit, you know. And so I was like, what do you want to drink? And she says, me, she doesn't drink alcohol. Oh, 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 how can you not drink alcohol in your life, Kimberly? Alcohol is joy. Le vin, the wine is the joy. So I'm sorry, I'm sorry if I left. I left the restaurant without saying goodbye. I, I couldn't stay there. I'm sorry, but I can't have a love relationship with someone who doesn't eat gluten and doesn't you eat wine. I'm lose. sorry. They wake up to the harsh reality. I've talked to like seven different people. These are women that came here and married a Tanzanian man or in a relationship with him, and they're getting beat. They didn't think African men were here. They, they didn't know. They thought that maybe I could come here and control that man, but that's not how it works here. So, Yes. Exactly. They think they can go over there, and, and he mentioned Latin America too. Men in these countries don't put up with a woman doing that. Okay? Uh, there's nothing to back these women up in these countries when they start to be disrespectful and, and mouth off and go after men. You know, you know, they can get away with it in America. But overseas, no. Not in Latin America and not in Africa. You go bouncing off at a grown man, something bad might happen. Number one, they're not even used to women talking to them like that. I've, I've been in Tanzania long enough. The women do not at all disrespect men, period, no matter what they do. And I was I was shocked at some, you know. Um, they just don't mouth off at men, at men. They just don't. They may mouth off at other women, but they don't mouth off at men. They just don't do that. Those Gambia and Tanzanian brothers laying smack <laughs> that. Oh man, yeah. See, no, yeah, they, yeah, yeah. They, they're not going to play that, man. They don't, those right, guys ain't right. going to be playing around. You know what I'm saying? They, they, they throw your ass out the window somewhere. <laughs> yeah, that, that's something that, that may happen. Yeah. Yeah, you can't be uh, uh right because I've, I've been there. I've been there long enough to know that women don't talk. Talk smack to men. Period. They just don't. You to lose. In foreigner countries, they're going to expect something. Oh. You'll be lucky if you have a, meet a family and they're not asking you to buy them this or buy you that. Or the wife or husband says, oh, you know, I have to send some money over to my family. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing with Western people. Most Western girls think that these people in the foreign countries are not smart. They think they're all stupid. The majority of them are actually smarter than the people here in in, the, in America. So I'm just gonna say the Filipinos, because there's a lot of Filipino nurses. Guarantee, like you go to hospital, guarantee you, you're gonna see a Filipina nurse. When you think about it, you see Filipinos everywhere. Teachers, they're very smart people. Majority of the times when they go, they're just family oriented. They don't care about you, how much money you have. That's why I told you it's different. And this is from experience, I'm telling you. But you're talking about nurses now. So it's just majority of times you go over there, they don't care. These people are smart people. They're not stupid. They're very smart and they don't need your money. They're just, they, they're, they're just, their mentality is just like, I want to take care of the family, take care of the, my husband, make sure my husband's happy. And they're not poor. Like people think that for some reason they're all poor over there. They're not poor. These people are smart. They're very well educated people. And that's, that's the problem. Most Western people think, oh, well, because this guy's flying over, he's looking for someone stupid, someone poor, someone can do whatever he wants. No, these people are smart. These people are nurses, doctors, they're, they're teachers and all that stuff. They think they can't speak English. Just, their second language is English. That's the men, but that's the problem. Mentality of people in the West, they think that these girls are stupid. That's what it is. At the end of the day, they think they're stupid and they're not. Well, if you <laughs> go for a family that it has money, then I don't see them trying to get money from you but yeah if you go for a, a more poor or middle family it might come up okay 
I'm just saying, majority majorities are, are not. You stupid. People are complaining because I said I wanted a housewife and that I love my beautiful queen over here from Uganda because I said she's going to make a, one of my points was she's going to make a beautiful housewife. And a lot of people try to complain. This isn't to the ladies out there. And a lot of you complain, but I'm not going to talk to y'all. I'm going to talk to the men because the men who were giving me hateful comments know better. Y'all men know better. You know that the key to a successful world and a successful state and a successful government and a successful community and a successful society starts at the home. If you don't have a happy home, you're not going to have a happy world. So I'm going to do my part and build a happy home. Honestly, the amount of white dudes with Thai women that are waiting to board international flights, it's an absurdity. It is crazy. <laughs> like, half of the couples in this airport right now are beautiful Thai women with super basic white dudes. American men, most of them are global eights, nines, tens. A global scale, they are the top. If you make more than $30,000 a year, you're in the top 1% of, of the world. Most American men, just on that one metric, are literally more attractive, again, just based on money. So it's not easy, it's normal. This is wow. normal. Yeah. Uh, walking around and seeing no fat women, it's only wow. in America where everyone's fat and all the girls have to compete with nobody and they have access to the top like men of the planet. As a man, there is no worse place to be than America. So I was thinking about this. Why do they care? Why do they care that men are going their own way and finding women in foreign countries? Why why are they so upset? Why do they call them dusty and useless and then in the, and then get mad that they're leaving? They don't want them, but they don't want them to leave. And why why are they making these videos to tell us how they don't care? And it finally struck me. The video is not for the passport boys. The videos are for their orbiters the friend zone men. They want to make sure they don't get this idea in their head that they can go somewhere else. That there are other women available to them if they just leave the country. They need these men to stay in their orbit, to keep validating them. That is what they're terrified, is they will lose the influence they have amongst the few men who still put up what's going on youtube is your boy ron back with another video if you're new to the platform welcome to the tribe by the end of this video i hope you subscribe first of all i want to say this um shorty in the thumbnail you ain't got no business calling anybody basic even in the united states you're probably a four at best you're very very average looking all right so let's get that out of the way and but i can confirm what she did see as you guys know i am currently a vietnam been in here i've been here for about three four days now and my flight actually came from bangkok and i can confirm that when i got to bangkok as well as leaving bangkok i definitely saw a lot of interracial couples i saw a lot of beautiful thai women with white guys and you know seeing that clip along with all the other clips that i showed you man it pretty much confirmed everything that was said in the last clip but i want to dive a little bit deeper man and just follow me on this one all right you guys i think the real reason why these women are so upset is because for once there has been such a shift in the dating market that it's making women upset because men are practicing for the first time men are practicing hypergamy the same way women do 
follow me. These women think just because you're average looking and just because you make an average salary in the United States that you have no business being with an attractive woman. Even if you worked on your fitness or whatever the case may be, these women genuinely feel like just because you don't have a certain swag or just because you're not a six or seven figure earner that you should not get this caliber of women. Meanwhile, women are practicing hypergamy and most of them are losing because even women who look as average as the one that says she saw all those beautiful Thai women with basic white men in the in, a, in Bangkok airport, even she can't get the higher tier of men to commit to her. And if they do, she's sharing him. That's, in my opinion, along with everything else you saw in this clip, especially the last clip, I think that's why they're really upset. Because, fellas, y'all are expanding y'all options and y'all have better options overseas than these women do worldwide which is why I played the first two clips because these women can't do what we do because these women don't want to come to these other countries and provide. They don't even want to do it in the U they don't even want to go 50-50 in the United States. So why in the hell would they think they can provide for another man in another country where that man is still going to expect them to be traditional even if they are providing financially? See, I'm like, see, see how everything is just flipped on its head when it comes to the dating market. The moment you get a passport and expand your options, that's why women don't like it. Because not only can they do it like we can, we're actually having more success because we're getting access to higher quality women that, in their opinion, in in their feelings, they feel like we shouldn't be able to get simply because we don't fall under the top tier men in the United States. And that's all I got to say about that. Let me know if y'all agree or disagree or understand where I'm coming from with that. But please let me know what you think in the comments, all right? If you're new to the platform, please subscribe. OGs, I appreciate the love and support. Make sure y'all click that notification bell. Y'all know when I'm uploading, hit the like button because that's with the algorithm and helps me reach a broader audience. Also, look out for the Travel Vlog channel, Unplugged Traveler, link in the description and pinned in the comments. Also, look out for the merch, Spreadshot.com, as well as my latest mixtape, Monk Mode Deactivated. All links are in the description as well, you guys. So, until the next time, you guys, deuces.